Okay, we are live. Hello everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Final Fantasy, the Pixel Remaster on the PS4. Welcome V Scorpio, welcome Justin, how are you guys doing today? Glad you can join. We are going to finish the Ice Cavern today, and then hopefully get the airship, so we can explore the rest of the world, and uh, see what happens. So I did some more level grinding off screen, just, you know, I had like 30 minutes to kill, so I said let's do some more level grinding, and I abused the, the multiplier, because with the Pixel Remaster you can multiply your experience and multiply your gill, but I don't really care, so we're, le <laughs> we're level 41 now, <laughs> might as well use it if we have to. Uh, did you guys hear about the saber rattling in Japan, lol, no, can you explain what's going on in Japan? What is, uh, Korea threatening them or something, or does it have to do with the U.S.? I can only imagine. So, uh, yeah, let's run random encounters, or, yeah, on, so we can see if there's new enemies here. Whoa, look at all these guys, mummies and cockatrices. Yep. So, there we go, there. Hope everyone is doing well. Just playing some good old Final Fantasy. Been wor still working on Trails in the Sky second chapter. I'm happy to say that my video yesterday did very well. I got a lot of, a lot of people with Trails profile pictures I've never seen before. Found the video and left all sorts of encouraging comments. And that was nice. So I'm going to do something similar to that once I finish second chapter with the screenshots and maybe some gameplay footage and whatnot and talk about that game as well, because for as much as I love the first chapter, second chapter is even better. Absolutely. The G7 conference, the West is throwing shade at China. Oh yeah, the alliances are getting ready. I mean, I hate to say it, but um, we're gonna look at a, a world war coming up. I mean, it just seems like it's likely. So, yeah, they're doing the G7 summit. What a, what a disaster. Alright, let's see the map. How many... There's 15 chests here. Is there any other rooms? I don't think so. It's like a dead end down there. The World War 3 videos on YouTube are kind of funny. Like speculating about it, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine what those videos are like on BitChute. <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah, it's a dead end there, huh? It's the blue eyes white dragon. It kind of does look like a blue eyes white dragon there, doesn't it? In a certain degree. I love how, just looking at the chat here, V Scorpio says first, like, did you comment that hours ago before the stream even started? <laughs> like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> For the five people that watch these streams, you're the first one, bravo. The crappy CGI cartoons, I'll share a link later. Oh, cool, do a community post of it. All right, the Ice Gigas, he's probably weak to fire. Well, they're all probably weak to fire. Man, I'm doing so much damage. I, I probably should turn the encounters off just to get the treasures here. I didn't do shit. What did it do, like 30 damage? There we go. So yeah, tomorrow is the PlayStation Showcase. And I recorded a, a video, kind of a spicy video for tomorrow uh, to talk about it and how I have hype fatigue. I know you guys wanted me to react to the showcase, but that's going to be at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock in the afternoon, my time, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have other things to do in the afternoon. Plus, I'm streaming three days a week now. So, um, yeah, I have a video tomorrow morning talking about that. And it might ruffle some feathers. What the hell is that thing? Oh, shit! What happened? Oh man, look at all these guys. 
Oh, they're probably weak to that. And for good measure, they'll do fire. Somebody paid some Fiverr animators to make it, lol. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Alright. Oh wow. Where the hell are we now? But yeah, I'm looking at some of the leaks in regards to the oh monsters the playstation showcase tomorrow it's gonna be for over an hour and nothing interests me man i mean spider-man 2 wolverine i hear they're, they're making metal gear solid 3 remake and that's probably gonna be announced um silent hill 2 we've seen a trailer like most of this stuff we've already seen the trailers for and personally I just, I can't get too excited about it anymore. Mithril gloves. I have them already, man. I bought all that new gear. And plus, I don't even have a PS5, so, you know, it doesn't matter to me. But anyway. Yeah, hopefully you guys check out tomorrow's video because that's uh, <laughs> goofing on Dreamcast Guide and a few others. <laughs> uh, the the e-celebs! Whoa, look at all these, all these treasures. Lots of gill. And monsters, too. The Winter Wolves. So, my buddy Game Night, I'm not sure if you saw his video from, uh, I think it was on Sunday? I mean, it was Monday? I forget. Monday was yesterday. Um, he beat Final Fantasy 1. I, I guess he got inspired after watching my live stream on Saturday night. And he beat it all in one sitting. Which, it is kind of a short game. When you think about it. And you can just power your way through it. I mean, we're pretty much halfway done already. I got two of the, of the four crystals. More monsters? So are you still playing Xenogears, Justin? And we are dual streaming on Twitch, so that's cool for if anyone can find me over there. Which I saw before I went live, everyone's streaming Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I guess that's still the big thing. Alright, we took him down. Wow, so much to kill. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see. We got eight chests, so we're doing good. Over here now. Aha, there's the stairs. Ether. Yes, I'm looking for the original video. Holy shit, all this gill we're finding. Oh, damn. Veteran Treasure Hunter? Another silver trophy? Collect treasure from 50% of chests. Wow. Okay. This game is, like, really easy to get the, all the trophies. Oh, shit! I fell! <laughs> no! What's that thing? Evil Eye! Look at this dude! Take him down! I wonder if this is effective on him. And fuck it, do Fyraga! Burn him down! Wow, look at the Fyraga effect. Oh shit, we one-shot him. Damn, that was easy. What do we get? Oh, the Levy Stone. Oh yeah, this is what we need for the airship. The, le the Levitation Stone. Cool. So we got that. No, fuck, don't fall! No, no, no! Hey, what's up, gaming and stuff? How's it going, man? Oh, cool. You made a post, Justin? That's good. I'll check it out after the stream. And 10 hours into Xenogears? Sweet. 
How are you liking it? The camera is really annoying for the dungeons. Xeno Gears? That's on the PlayStation 1. Although I think you can play it on the PS3. For some reason, it's it's on the, the PS3 store. If you buy it on the online store digitally on PS3, but not on the PS4 store. I don't know what the deal is with that. But who knows? Who knows? Alright, where's the other chests? Oh yeah, this is the other side. There's some in here. Yep, there they are. A sleeping bag, more gill, an ice shield. There you go. It's not the original video, but they added funny music. Cool. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't get all the chests. We gotta go back in there. There's two more. I gotta find them real quick. I gotta get the damn chests! You originally played it on the Vita? Uh, Xenogears on the Vita? Yeah, I think you could, back in the day with the PS3, you could get a bunch of PS3 games on the Vita. But the original is on the PlayStation 1. Alright, let's see. Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> How the hell? No, I don't want to fight him again. Oh well. You're gonna get Final Fantasy 16 in early July. That's coming out in like what two weeks now? Two or three weeks? That's crazy. I got a spicy video for tomorrow talking about the, the PlayStation Showcase. My pre, because the PlayStation Showcase is gonna be tomorrow afternoon. And I'm going to post my video in the morning, so it'll be my my, <laughs> my pre-video you can watch. And uh, <laughs> the Sony fanboys will get all mad, I just know it. Alright, I gotta figure out how the fuck do I get these chests. There's like two chests in here. Right? No. Where the hell are they? Are they in here? God damn it, where are those chests? I gotta find them. <laughs> they were near where the evil eye is. I'd get it in June, but buying my roommate Xbox... Are oh, you getting a Series X? What does the Series X have that the PS5 doesn't? Alright, here they are. Okay. Okay, come on. Flame sword. How do I get the other? Oh, we walk around. Duh. God, I'm, I'm freaking retard over here. <laughs> you gotta walk around to get it. Monsters. Walking all that way to fight more monsters. Dark wizards. Not the dark magician. The dark wizards. Burn him down. Oh shit, he can use Fyraga too? No! <laughs> oh man, oh man! <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, use a high potion. Use a high potion. And I have a life, don't I? Use life. Oh shit! Oh my god. What in the hell is going on here? Alright. Alright, hold on. Uh. High potion. Life. Alright, I'll try that. Oh, see, we survived. Life. Okay. Alright. Don't target the monk, and we're good. We'll just cure for good measure. 
and burn him! Aha! We survived that! Nice! Look at that strategy I have here. Hell yeah. Was it worth it? What do we get? Clothes? <laughs> what the fuck are clothes? That's like the weakest armor in the game. Let's see. I think it's the weakest armor in the game. Yeah, clothes! Like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh well. Alright, let's heal up. Ah, oh, shit, I'm out of that. Oh well, we'll go to the inn. We'll go to the inn and heal up. So I think I got all the, the treasures. Yep, 15, so we're good. Let's get out of here. Uh, you're going on a camping trip in a couple days? That's cool, gaming and stuff, have fun. It's like the perfect time of year to do that, right? Speaking of the Xbox, I've been working on finishing some games on it, so I've taken a break on live streams. That's cool. Do you, now, when you live stream, do you live stream games you've already played, or your first time playthroughs? Because I've sort of done a mix of both throughout the years. And I found I like playing games I've already played before, it's just easier. I like having both, and it's a better deal buying his used than a new one, especially if it's the great exclusives coming out for it. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to be mean, but what exclusives are on the Xbox? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I, I honestly don't even know. Like, I know for a PlayStation, you have, uh, you have Final Fantasy 16, and, you know, stuff like that. Xbox is what? Halo? That's all I can think of, really. Okay, so let's go, let's go here, and where the hell is the, the village? It's over here, I think. So we can go to the inn. Justin, oh crap, yeah, I almost died there, man. That was, that was a, a rough go. Oh man, how do we get over there? Oh, I have the canoe. That's right. I know his work's great, and he barely used it. Mostly new playthroughs. Oh, that's cool. I found with new playthroughs, I get, like, cranky during the live stream, so it's better I just... <laughs> I play games I've already played before, so I don't, like, rage quit or anything. Justin, the new Forza and Halo, bro. I know Halo. Of, okay, Forza. That's the race, the racing game. Forza. All right. And Fatal Frame... What's Fatal Frame? Is that a fighting game, Fatal Frame? So now, I think we have to go over here. How do I get to the port? Is there a port around here? I'm pretty sure we have to go to this desert. Oh, uh, maybe we have to, yeah, use the canoe or whatever. Okay. So let's go back to the port. I guess we'll leave the boat behind once we get the, the fucking airship. Justin, by the way, did you guys see the new Gran Turismo movie trailer? No, I did not. When did that when did that come out? And Fatal Frame is a Japanese horror franchise. Oh, <laughs> shows how much I know. What I say is a fighting game. Oh shit, we're getting a cutscene. Look at this. It's the airship! You obtained the airship! Awesome. Oh my god, listen to the airship music! Look at this dude! Whoa! We can go wherever we want now! Hell yeah! I, I wonder, if, are there any, like, secrets on this area, or do we just go north now? Wow. 
<laughs> this is cutting edge back in the day. That's uh, Cornelia. I like the effect there of the, the castle, how it looks like it's standing up. You see that? But yeah, we've explored all this area, so the only other thing to do now is go north and see what that brings. Oh my god, this is so awesome, man. Oh, what the hell is that? Should we explore this? Or should we go to the next town? Where's the next town, anyway? Oh, here's a town. There you go. Oh, you can just park it. Park it anywhere. Oh, maybe not. You can't park it in the forest, can you? So let's park it here and, and walk over to the new town. What the hell? I can't park it there? Okay, we can park it there. <laughs> And let's see if there's new enemies. Mode 7, baby! Yeah, that was awesome. Cutting edge! A desert Beretta. Look at this guy. We're strong enough to take him down, probably. You're playing Valkyrie Chronicles 4 gaming and stuff? How are you liking that? Fatal Frame is a survival horror game. I think the first one came out for the PS2. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not really a big survival horror game. You guys should know what I like by now. Onrak. Okay, here's a new town. Any chests? Nope. What's this woman say? Look at my legs! Aren't they wonderful? I love having legs! Look, look! Did you see that move I just did? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Look at my legs. That underhill fella from the cavern had something weird for sale. Hmm. You ever hear of something called Oxale? They say that the shrine sank into the sea 200 years ago. Now there are mermaids living there. Or so the story goes. If you say so. Yeah, that's where the Kraken is, I think. He's one of the fiends guarding the crystals. It's over here. Here's an item shop. Do they have anything new? Nope. We got all that shit. I got like 20 of each item, so I'm good for now. Oh, uh, let's do the new spells. Oh, is this a graveyard? Is Link buried here? <laughs> or is it just normal gravestones? What's this dude say? They say this used to be a beautiful village until about 200 years ago. Hmm, what happened 200 years ago? Kope's been sp spreading some nonsense story about how he saw a shining thing fall out of the sky. Is he talking about the airship, maybe? Out of me way, blast it. I haven't been able to catch a single fish. How am I supposed to keep food on my plate and huh, my belly? Hey, how's it going, McBride? Welcome to the stream, man. Are those legs really yours? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with these people with legs? Saber? And blind. Saber! I can't cast that, though. I guess we'll learn blind. How about the white magic shop? Null death. That's good. And Heliga. Yeah, we want that. Get him! Justin, the new Gran Turismo movie is directed by Neil Blumkamp. He's finally getting to direct a video game movie. Game yourself, Valkyrie Chronicles 4 is great. Gonna have to get the first one for Xbox Series S eventually. Sweet. My father's with the caravan. Right now, they're over in the desert to the west. They usually pitch camp by the forest near the north of the desert. I hope he comes home soon. Yeah, what I like about these old games, they're really simple and they, they pretty much direct you where to go. What the hell is that, a dragon? Is that a fucking dragon? You have the look of a warrior about you. I'm a warrior myself on a pilgrimage to the Citadel of Trials to earn the recognition of the Dragon King. I must return with a token proving my strength and courage. OK. 
Okay. Hi, my name is Kope. Hmm. You want to hear about the shining object I saw? I think it fell somewhere near the waterfall to the north. No one believes me, but I think it's some kind of mechanical creature. The hell? I wanted to save the mermaids living on the sea floor, so I made this submarine out of a barrel. But when I went underwater, <laughs> I started running out of air. I couldn't breathe. It's totally useless. Even worse, it's dangerous. You better keep away. I think we need to, to do something with that later to, to fight the Kraken in the underwater dungeon. The sunken shrine is said to be filled with riches. Silver, gold, diamonds, even tablets describing lost languages and civilizations, if you believe the legends. Long ago, an ancient race known as the Sky People used an a language called Lufenian. My brother, Un, would always tell me how he'd figure out how to speak it if only he had the Rosetta Stone. Okay. Yeah, so... These old school JRPGs just give you a little hints of dialogue to say, oh, go to the desert in the west, go up north, find the shining object. You gotta like how simple they are, right? So now that we're done there, I suppose there's, because there's no item shop, is there? At least for weapons? I don't think so. So let's continue to the next area. Hmm. I guess... There was, like, that cave in that island. I guess we can check that out. Let me get the airship again. Hellhounds and Ogre Mages! Blink. Blink. Whoa. That healed him? All right. So let's get back in the old airship. <laughs> I love the fucking airship music. All right, let's just scour around and see if there's other towns or anything. There's the desert. They were talking about the desert earlier. Uh, nothing over there. There's no chocobos in this game. I think the first game chocobos were in were Final Fantasy II, if I remember correctly. Yeah, should we explore this area? Might as well. How come I can't land there? Can I land here? I guess you can't land on the, the rough looking world. Only the green. Uchu! Uchu! Sweet. Level up! Alright, let's go. Dragon Caves. 13 chests. Oh, there's a dragon right there. Once, long ago, the Northland was filled with beautiful shrines and towering mechanical castles. So very long ago. Huh. Oh, there's a few of them. The dragons of the Cardian Islands have no love of senseless killing. Oh, they're peaceful dragons, huh? It is a rare thing to have humans visit us here. If you are valiant warriors, you should speak with Bahamut, our king. Oh, fuck yeah. I think, you know what? I think this is where you get... The class upgrades from Bahamut. I think, anyway. So I guess we gotta find him. Uh, once long ago, there was an age when man and dragon lived together. What happened? Nothing in here. Yeah, and you guys aren't only really too talkative today in the chat. What's going on? It's all good, though. I, I assume most, most of you are listening. Some gill. 
More gill. More gill? God, I have so much gill. Here's another dragon. Only the tru truly brave can attain a token of their courage. X potion. I think that heals everything. Get out of the way! He's blocking me! Go! <laughs> Get out of my way! Beretta! My bad playing Xeno Gears. Oh, it's all good, man. No, I understand. I, I use, like, streams as background noise all the time, too. And, I don't know, I guess people aren't really used to my new stream schedule yet of three days a week. That's all good. Did you watch or listen to Eric Landon's stream the other day? Because <laughs> he, he was bitching about being shadow banned! Which, I don't know, I hate to break it to him, I feel like... His video didn't do well because people didn't click on it, you know? It was like about the censored games or whatever. I don't know if it was shadow banned. I, I, I think uh, people were just like, you know, I think he made this video before, bro. And he's bitching about it. Like, I don't know, I like Eric Landon, but sometimes, sometimes he just, <laughs> he's a little goofy, which we all are. What the hell is this? A bunch of crosses? This is a graveyard of dragons? This is the chamber of Bahamut, the Dragon King. Mind your tongue. The Dragon King looks within the measure of a person's true courage. Look at Bahamut. Do we have to fight him here? I am the Dragon King Bahamut. I confer honor upon those whose strength and courage are true. Return to me with a token of your courage. Do we give him an item? No. Ah, uh, we must get that later. Get an item later and give it to Bahamut. Yeah, he's the one who gives you the class upgrades. I forgot this game had CGI cinematics. Oh yeah, Xenogears has the, um... Like, anime cutscenes in it. And it has some voice acting, too. Oh, have you seen Id yet? And Graf? Have you spoken of our King Bahamut? The Dragon King confers a great honor upon the brave. Yeah, we talked to him. He wouldn't give us shit. It is customary for dragons to venture northeast to the Citadel of Trials. There we must test our metal by claiming a token of courage. Okay, go northeast to get the metal. The form of the token of courage with the times. Do not let its appearance deceive you. All right, where are the three chests I'm missing? Where are they? Fuck, let me go back there. I never get notified of his streams, but then again, I never watch, lol. <laughs> yep. alright, let's see. Where are the fucking three chests I'm missing? Because we went in... One, two, three, four... Five, okay. Yeah, he was bitching because he, he posts, I think, two videos a week. He does a video on Tuesday and Friday. And the video he posted last Friday didn't get didn't get high views for him. So he claimed it was Shadow Band. I don't think it was Shadow Band, because I was reading reading the comments and people are like, you know, you've kind of already done this video before, bro. <laughs> so he didn't click on it. <laughs> Uh, which I get, you know, he's trying to make a living on YouTube, which is that really a wise choice? I don't think so, but hey, Manicore, that's a new enemy. Wow, I didn't know about the class upgrades for Final Fantasy. I beat the game without them. Oh, really? Yeah, there's class upgrades. Oh shit, am I poisoned?
McBrod, I just got back from watching Fast 10. So we're just bringing back everybody that died now. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, okay, here's the remaining chest. A tent. I gotta get that chest trophy, guys. Come on now. You do not fear me? You have some spine in you, human. Dry ether? What the hell does a dry ether do? And a gold needle. Restores 5 MP. Damn, that's good. I keep hitting that. All right, let's go to the the Citadel of Trials. It said Northeast. Is that it? Where can I land? Hmm, I can't land on that. Where do I land? Okay, I guess we gotta land there <laughs> and walk around. God, it seems like a, a trek. Oh well. So yeah, I wanted to get your guys' input for tomorrow's video. Uh, basically, it's a pre-game for the PlayStation Showcase that's gonna be tomorrow afternoon. Oh shit, the Black Mage died. That's not good. And I talk about hype fatigue, fatigue, how, you know, everyone is just, we're so heckin' hyped, and I'm like, you know, there's no need for me to be hyped about these new games when I have so many old games to finish playing first. So that's how I feel. And so far, the preemptive title is just that. PlayStation Showcase and hype fatigue. But I'm just wondering what, what I could do to make it more clickbaity. <laughs> Because I know most of you guys, you know, probably agree with me. Or at least understand where I'm coming from. And I'm trying to rile up the PlayStation fanboy so we'll come across the video. That's what I'm trying to do. Basilisk. That looks more like a lizard than a basilisk. Which I guess a snake kind of is a lizard to a certain degree. Justin, are there back rows in this game? If so, put the mages in the back. There are not. I tried doing that earlier. Because there's this order, but that just changes like that. You can't put them in the back. Because I, I, I knew that, and that's in the later Final Fantasies, not in the first one, I guess. But yeah, the back row makes it so the mages can, uh, you know, because they're weaker. They have less defense than the warrior. Oh, that sucks. I know, man. Hey, it's a game of its time, you know? A game of its time. What the fuck? Oh, does the canoe work over there? It's gotta work over there. Because I don't have the boat anymore. Take him down! All right, good to go. Yeah, okay, the canoe works. Thank, thank the Lord. All right, so I think this is the Citadel of Trials. So who's in your party right now in Xenogears, Justin? I'm assuming it's just like Faye, Bart, and, and uh, Saiten. Unless you got Ellie. You come bearing the crown, I see. Your fortitude cannot be questioned. Indeed not. Very well. I shall grant you the right to undergo the trials. Go now. Sit upon the throne. Your courage will be put to the test. If true courage dwells within you, you will find proof of it here. Alright. 
Is there any chests? Oh, there's ten of them. Cool. Faye, Bart, and Saitan. Cool. Yeah, man. Great cast of characters in that game. There's the throne. Alright, so, do we go in there? Oh, we gotta sit on the throne. <laughs> oh shit, it teleports us? Okay. Looks like there's a chest up there. Oh shit, it's a puzzle! It's a puzzle! Very ominous music playing. A minotaur zombie. Man, he didn't stand a chance. I hope I'm going the right way. Mind Flare. They look a little, like little Cthulhu monsters. Yeah, I rescued Margie, and now we're going to attack Vandercom's base. Awesome, man. I love the names in, in Xenogears, too. Alright, let's uh, use that. I love the names of the gears, too. What's, uh... Bart's is called, like, the Brigandier or something like that. And I think, what was Saiten's called? Heimdall? They're probably based off Mind Flayers from D&D. &D. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, fi the original Final Fantasy was inspired by uh, the tabletop RPGs. Back in the day. Medusa! Ah, shit, she turned to stone. Yeah, it's called Heimdall. Yeah, I remember Xenogears. I remember. Okay, let's turn this off so we can just figure out where the fuck to go. Because otherwise we'll keep running into battles and it'll never end. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the chest. A potion? All that for a measly potion. That's where we gotta go right there. Bottom right. The new Baldur's Gate has Mind Flayers as the main bad guys. Ah, uh, alright. I guess we'll try that one. Ah, this is the back of the beginning now. Shit! So are you, are you going to make your top 10 Western RPG video, Justin? I know you said you wanted to do that after the, the top 10 JRPGs. Oh man, this, this sucks. 
I'm just cheesing it without using the random encounters, but what can I do? Because for what I haven't really played a whole lot of Western RPGs. I mean, I would say Oblivion and Skyrim. I enjoyed them. Does The Witcher count? Or because that was made by was that made by a European company? So that doesn't count as a wet. Well, I guess it kind of does because it's not. Japanese. Ah, what the fuck? Do I need like I'm a guide to figure this shit out? <laughs> I think I gotta get back up to the corner. No! Probably not yet. I made a list of all the Western RPGs I've beaten, and there's only 20 games. Yeah. And I'm sure. Ten of them aren't really the greatest. Like, maybe you can find five of them that are absolutely great. And others are like, oh, man, I, I beat it, but is it really that good? Witcher was made by Poland Developer. Yeah, okay, so that's a, a European company. Fucking hell. Okay. Is this new? I think this is new. Okay. This one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? I keep going in circles. I think it's this one. And that one? God damn it. I need to have a guide for this, I think. No. Okay, so it's this one. The author of the Witcher books was Polish as well. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save. I can't see. Fuck. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna look up a guide. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Citadel of Trials map. Cause otherwise we're gonna do this for an hour. Okay, it's this one. It is this one. Okay. And then... It's this one. Ah, oh, we were so close! There it is! I don't care, I had to cheese it at the end there. And we'll try... We'll try this one. Oh, this, this one's easy. That was the only difficult part. This is the end. Alright, good. <laughs> Sorry, I had to look up a guide. I didn't want to, but it needed to be done. Nightmare! And there are a bunch of unicorns. The Nightmare Unicorns! Nice. Alright. Let's turn battles back on, just in case there's new enemies. Because I am trying- ooh, the healing staff. Let's see. It's weaker. 
I just want to try something. I think if you attack with the healing staff, it, it heals your, your guys. Let's just try a random battle and see if, it, if that works. Because I think it's true. Rakshasha. Alright, let's see. Ah, oh, you can't attack yourself? That's later Final Fantasies then. If you get a staff like that, you can attack yourself and heal yourself. I know that's a fact. But apparently does damage to these guys. You know what? It's probably effective against the zombie monsters. Because I know, like, Cure is effective against them as well. Ah, oh, shit. They heal themselves. Take them down. Two damage. Come on. Come on. I think it sometimes heals. It doesn't work all the times. Yeah, you can't target your guys here, though. You can only target the enemies. Because in the later Final Fantasies, I, I know you can do that with the stabs and, and items of that nature. Slow? Alright, good. Alright, so I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. So sit, sit tight, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, hopefully you enjoyed the jingle there of the victory the victory fanfare. And yeah, something I'm trying to do with this playthrough as well to get the trophies is the bestiary. That's why I'm trying to encounter all these enemies. So let's see. Yeah, we're doing good. Oh, we missed a few. I guess we'll find him eventually. <laughs> Alright. Here's some chests. Whoa! The Horn Devil! Oh, uh, you know what? Do, uh. Thundaga! Thundaga! Man. Oh no! Wow. That was good. Let's heal up, though. Ice Brand, Ruby Armlet, Steel Gloves. I have an Ice Brand. Ruby armor, that's good for you. All 
Alright. Good, good, good. Let's try... Diaga! And then we'll try... Thundaga again. There we go. That one shot him. Nice. Some more gill. More gill. A cottage. And monsters! Clay golems. We'll pass on you. Ah, poisoned. Okay. Gauntlets. Who can equip them? I think it's probably a weapon for you, right? No? What are the gauntlets do? Gauntlets. Who can equip that? I guess nobody. <laughs> Alright. So we're missing one chest. There it is. The rat's tail? What the hell is that? Oh, that's, I think that's what we need for Bahamut. Unless we talk to this guy. A dragon zombie! What was the dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh? Th thousand Year Dragon, right? With, with Joey when he would use Time Wizard. And man, they used him so wrong in the anime. Like in the anime, well in the game, you're supposed to use polymerization on Time Wizard and Baby Dragon. They get Thousand Year Dragon. And Joey would just be like, yeah, I summoned, I summoned time wizard. Come on, time. And he used like an effect or something. No, Joey, you gotta use polymerization. What the hell are you doing, bro? Same with flame swordsman. He used to summon flame swordsman without polymerization. Oh, what a cheater. All right, so we're done. Now we can go to the, to see Bahamut and get our upgrades. So we'll do just that. Worms! They kind of look like baby dragons <laughs> from Yu-Gi-Oh. I wonder if Takahashi from Yu-Gi-Oh was inspired by like Final Fantasy monsters and stuff. I feel like a lot of mangakas had to have been inspired by, you know, RPG monsters and things like that. Oh, they released Flame Swordsman as a normal card, too? I always thought it was a, a fusion card. Ah, it's so close yet so far. What the hell is that? Remoraz. Remoraz. All right. Let's keep going. I wonder if there's new monsters in the desert. Let's see. Where Tiger? Where Garurumon? Sandworms? <laughs> Is that their tongue or are they drooling there? Sweet. Okay, let's go back and see Bahamut and give him the offering of the rat's tail. Is he in this one? I forget which one he was in. 
No, it's the other one. He was originally, I don't think around the Dual City arc they released a new Flame Swordsman. I can't remember if he was a normal monster or an effect. Yeah, around the, the Battle City arc, Joey stopped using Flame Swordsman because he got all the new cards. He got, you know, Jinzo, which Jinzo is such an awesome card, man. Jinzo and uh, the, the Spider Queen or whatever from Weevil. Alright, Bahamut. Long has it been since men of courage stood before me. Your bravery seems worthy of consideration. The rat's tail you carry is a fitting token of courage and strength. So be it. I shall honor you with titles befitting your valor. Look at him. I guess we don't fight Bahamut in this game, do we? And yeah, the sprites change on the characters. Look at that! Oh my god, so awesome! Although the black mage lost the hat! Oh, we got a trophy. Token of Courage. That's cool. Gain the titles of Courage from Bahamut. Nice. Restore the crystals to grace! Yeah, the sprites... So, yeah, the warrior turns into the knight, the monk to the master, white mage to white wizard, and black mage to black wizard. Black wizard. Which, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't like the black mage how <laughs> he lost his hat, but okay, it's fine enough. And I think you can learn magic with uh, some of them. I think, anyway. Alright, cool. Now, who can equip the gauntlets? He can't equip the gauntlets? Oh, he can now. Yeah, equip it. Why not? Oh, it's all good, man. Sorry, multitasking. I'm pretty sure it came out around the Dual City arc. It's all good. Uh, gaming stuff just finished an operation in Valkyrie Chronicle 4 took over 30 minutes That's cool All right now that we're done there, I guess we can go to The next area wherever that may be we did that So would it be over here maybe There's a desert Oh I don't know if we go here yet, do we? This is like Mirage Tower. Oh, we can land right there. Oh, we can't. Yeah, you can't. You can only land on the grass. All right. Let's see. There's really not a whole lot in this game. It's a lot of like emptiness. Okay, here's a new area. Uh. Where can I land? You can't land on that. So I guess we gotta land here and walk. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's new monsters. Desert Beretta, we fought them. And yeah, let's see how mo much more powerful we are. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Only 140 damage and four? <laughs> what the hell? I thought they were supposed to be stronger. Three? Alright, come on, monk. Oh, he did 500. Alright. Nice. <laughs> Their victory dance is different now. <laughs> look at the look at the knight. He's like both hands up in the air. It's a rave party. Oh man. A lot of charm. Troll and Minotaur are zombie. I think we fought them before. So we'll keep going down this way. And yeah, here's, here's a new town. Wyverns! Nice. 
So let's see, where's this? Oh, Lufenia! Lupa Godado? What the hell are they saying? Oh, I think there's an item you get later that translates. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. No habla inglese. What's this do? <laughs> You're filthy, wash up! <laughs> hey, what's up, Hyper Kaiju? How's it going, man? What up, Warriors of Light? We're trying to save the world, man. I just got the, the class upgrades from Bahamut. And now I'm trying to figure out where to go next. But uh, so far, we got the, the Earth and the Fire Crystal restored, so I guess we're about halfway done. We're just cruising. How are you doing, man? How's Yakuza like a dragon? I love how the, the monkey has like a mullet now. You guys notice that? <laughs> what a Chad. No, it's not a long game at all. Sandworm. Hey, what's up, Nuke? How's it going, man? Kevin, do you think Persona 6 or any Persona remake is being shown tomorrow? I don't think so. I'd love for that to be the case, but I, I don't think so. Do you think so? Oh, here's another area. Gaia. This is Gaia. Outsiders often call our town the Eye of the Hawk. To our south is an ancient city known as the Wing of the Hawk. Alright. Oh, let's get some new spells. Blizzaga. Hell yeah. And Break. Petrifies an enemy. Alright, why not? Justin, oh my god, I keep fucking up a jump. I told you, man, Zeno Gears has some goofy platforming, and the camera doesn't help much either. Kyurja and Diaja. Damn, I, I want them all. Alright, fuck it, let's get rid of Null Death. It sucks you can only have three, but... I'd rather have that spell. Hyper, I keep getting sidetracked in Yakuza with minigames, LMAO. Nuke, you think Square Enix will show anything besides Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow? Yes, I think they're going to show Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. But that's all. That broom's always trying to weasel its way out of its chores. I don't know what to do with it. Busy, busy, swish, swish, swish. Okay, broom. <laughs> So, Nuke, I, I guess you just showed up. Earlier I was talking about that. I have a video tomorrow talking, I'm going to upload tomorrow morning, about the, the PlayStation Showcase and how I have hype fatigue and I'm no longer interested in many of the new games releasing. So, I hope you give the video a watch. I don't believe it. You're outsiders, aren't you? How did you make it up this high in the mountains? Can you fly or something? Nah, that's impossible, right? Yeah, right now, Nuke, I am fully immersed in the Trails series, and I don't really care about any new games releasing. <laughs> so I'm going to go through all the Trails games, <laughs> taking some breaks as needed, I guess, and uh, we'll get to Final Fantasy 16 eventually. Have you visited the Wing of the Hawk? I can't understand a word they say there. Yeah, we went there. They didn't, they didn't understand. I couldn't understand them. A fairy was living at our spring, but I haven't seen her lately. I wonder what's happened to her. Hopefully she's okay. My dad was always telling me how the castle to the west was a place to test your courage. Yeah, we did that already. Oh, some new items. What do you got? Ruby armlet. Well, hell yeah. Get two of them. And a protect ring. 
Can I all equip that? We'll get four of them then. Alright, cool. Nice. Getting some good equipment here. What about you? Cat claws. Okay. Alright, that's good. And then let's sell our excess equipment. Because I don't need them anymore. Damn, that's a lot of money. All good. Let's just organize that. Justin, hopefully a Xenogears remake, lol. I touch on that in tomorrow's video. I hope you guys check it out. I, I gotta, what, what should I title it? Because right now the preemptive title is PlayStation Showcase and Hype Fatigue. Because that's my problem. I have hype fatigue right now. I I'm just so sick and tired of people Breath of the Wild, it's the best game ever. Oh, Spider-Man 2, Wolverine. I I'm just sick and tired of it. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I saw a shining light fly out to the west in the night sky. I know I saw it. And I need something clickbaity to rile up the PlayStation fanboys. You know? Now let's get some more of this stuff. I like to have like 20 of each item if I can. Yep. Hyper, where's my Dragon Quest 3 HD remake at? I don't know, man. Where is it? That's something that I'd be excited for. There's a few things I would be excited for. There was a scholar studying the Lufenian language, but I can't seem to recall his name. Huh, you gotta help me out. Maybe he's up here? I caught the fairy, so I figure she's mine to do if as I please. What's the big deal? So I sold her to the caravan. So what? <laughs> He's selling fairies now? Oh, this is the church. Justin, probably an update on the new Dragon Quest. They showed a title screen last year. Yeah, Dragon Quest 12. Ugh. I hope I hope it's turn-based. If it's not turn-based, that's it's over. That's the end. Oh, shit. Was there more to explore there? Talk to all of them. Yeah, I think we talked to everybody. Oh, is there new stuff up there? They say a special water called Oxail gushes from the bottom of our spring, but only fairies can draw it out. Nuke, you're going to get a lot of negative comments from that video, lol. Well, watch it and see what you think, man. I mean, I like, you gotta understand, and I, I know you guys all understand, but I don't like any other games than JRPGs. Like, it's simple as that. If it's not a JRPG, I don't really care. Holy! That's a good one. No, all, and dispel. Yep. Get them all. Stop. Okay. Warp and kill. <laughs> All right. That's good. And Nuke says, Justin, are you going to... Are you going to back that Dale Keown Pit Omnibus campaign? Probably not. So, yeah, I just saw a bunch of people making their prediction videos about it. And... It just, you know, Spider-Man 2? Like, is that really the big thing people are all excited for? Couldn't be me. Alright, so we explored Gaia. Where, where do we go now? To the west? I think we get to the west.
Hyper Dragon Quest 12 better be turn-based or we riot! You said it, man. You said it. Justin, I accidentally closed the window. The answer is no, Nuke. I don't support grifters or e-baggers. Yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> We're all done with those people. I saw EVS was bitching about, um, what was it, Common America again, which I guess they shipped uh, the, the new one. And every time it ships, it's just coping and seething. It's like, dude, what is your fucking problem? Where, where is your book, <laughs> first of all? <laughs> Lesser Tigers and Sabertooth. And it's just, it's they're just pathetic, man. I have no use for those people. I don't even like any of those people anymore. They're all grifters! Nuke, I hope they do not show 20 minutes of Spider-Man 2. Yeah, I hope not either. Yeah, and I know you guys wanted me to do a reaction to the... To the, um... Showcase. I'm just gonna... Because at 4 o'clock my time... I'm just gonna watch on my own, and uh, I'll do a video on Friday if anything good is announced. Because hopefully there is some JRPG news. Like, I'd if Persona 6 was announced, awesome. Um, and again, in regard to Final Fantasy 16, I, I would l love to play it. I'm gonna play it one day, but I'm not rushing to play it, you know? And so, I'll get it eventually. And right now, I'm still enjoying Trails in the Sky second chapter. I think I'll dive right into third chapter <laughs> when I'm done with that. <laughs> and dude, the music. The music in that game is so fucking awesome. The boss fights against the enforcers? Like, holy shit. It's like some death metal that's playing. Yep. Uh, Nuke, Justin, I thought you might consider it because Keon is Canadian. <laughs> Justin, I don't know or care. LOL. Oh my god, I finally made the jump after falling a dozen times. It's hard to make difficult jumps with the random battles. Yeah, yeah that's right, because you're jumping using the camera and stuff. And then we're going to turn encounters off just to figure out where to go next. And then... um. Yeah. You'll, you'll trigger a random battle. Yeah, Z Xeno Gears is uh, a little tricky, but it's a great game. It's just a game of its time. New guy watched Avatar Way of the Water. It was okay. That's cool. Is it on, like, streaming and stuff now? You can find it on there? I mean, you can find it on the internet. Oh. <laughs> Hyper dude is obsessed with common America. It's pathetic. I know I saw it yesterday Like people are posting their pictures. They're getting the which I got mine the other day, too And they're posting their pictures like oh, okay, I got you know and People are sharing it and it must have made it its way over to him and he shares a picture which you know, it's like you know female characters and they got their cleavage hanging out and everything else that's one of the selling points. And then his thing is, oh, this is for for women. <laughs> like, no, some people, some people like to look at the tits and ass. I mean, like, what, what's the problem, bro? And a lot of people were saying, which I don't even care about Sailor Moon, but that's an example, you know. What about Sailor Moon? And he's like, oh, it's, it's for women. So he was just getting all mad. Which, uh... You know, if you're making a million dollars on Cyberfrog, why why do you care about what other people do, man? And what other people like? It's so weird. Alright, we gotta turn the battles off to figure out where to go, because... Where do we go? I'm assuming we gotta go somewhere around here. Well, obviously not over there. Justin, I really want to watch the Avatar sequel.
Nuke, he owes like four campaigns, going to launch another one on the 4th of July. Are we talking EVS or Dale Keown now? You could say that about all the comics game creators. <laughs> How many does Richard have? He has like 10 campaigns, doesn't he? Maybe it's over here at the canal. Oh shit, yeah, we can go in here. The Waterfall Cavern? <laughs> okay, we'll explore this. Let's turn that on, there's probably new enemies. Pyrolis. Gaming us up the Cloister of Trials, the most dull part of Final Fantasy X. Glad 12 had real dungeons instead of that block pushing and ball placing trash. I agree, man. The Cloister of Trials, I love Final Fantasy X. It's my favorite game of all time, but the Cloister of Trials are not fun. Not at all. Nuke, I had to watch it in segments, though. I did not watch all three hours plus at once. Yeah, it's a three hour long movie, that's right. Uh, McBride, how many volumes does Common Rider have? I think, did you mean Common America? Because we were just talking about that. Uh, they just released volume seven. So. Hyper, I 100% believe there are no genuine Cyberfrog fans. They're all cynical culture war grifters. Yeah, that's the other thing too. John Delarose had was chiming in because he's EVS's little lapdog. And the Green Dragon. And he was going on about how common America is lolly. <laughs> lolly porn, which, okay, if you say so. They got like double D tits, but if it's lolly porn, whatever. I don't know, man. He's something else, man. He he does the whole thing like, I'm holier than thou, I'm Mr. Religious, I'm a family man, have all these kids, whatever. And then you're on there doing a four hour stream, making fun of people, making fun of that Liam guy. It just seems kind of two-faced and, you know, make fun of people for being on the internet, but you're on the internet just as much. Kind of strange. Who am I to talk? I mean... <laughs> hey, we all, we all have our problems. The Culture War! Nuke, Eric July announced a new book written by Chuck Dixon. Did he now? I like Chuck Dixon. And he's been blacklisted from DC, so I can't really blame him for taking a job with Eric July. Let's see, where are we going? I guess down there. These seem like dead ends. I don't see any chests on the map. So I can't really fault Chuck Dixon. Hyper scene for Isom. Did Isom 2 come out yet? Let's turn this off now just to explore. I don't think so. Isom. <laughs> <laughs> shit! We got our diverse, our diverse comics too! Shit! Oh, uh, I'm gonna get in trouble, aren't I? Nah, no, none of those people even watch my channel, so what does it matter? Oh! What's this guy doing here? Holy shit, look at all these guys! Alright, let's do. Let's do. Holy! And. Blazaga! Try that. Justin, by the way, does anybody know what's going on with Jamie Foxx? I heard he's not well. He's in the hospital or something. Hope he gets better. Game, gaming and stuff, Nicola and Shiara in Valkyrie Chronicles 4 are so hot. I posted pictures of them on my Twitter account. <laughs> Alright, man, I'll have to check them out later. I have been waiting. Take this cube. Tiamat. Flying Fortress. Please. Alright. <laughs> we'll take it. The Warp Cube. Oh, EVS has a million campaigns. Yeah, I know that. 
Is this a guy like a robot? I think he's a robot. The wizard staff. Ribbon. Nice! The ribbon! That's like the best accessory in the game, isn't it? Defender. Okay, what do all these things do? Alright. Defenders for him. Yeah, look at that. Ribbon. Oh, it's weak though. Hmm. He can equip that. Alright, give it to the white mage. <laughs> How is the wizard staff weaker? What the hell, man? Alright, good enough. So we got all the chests? Yeah, we got them all. So let's scurry on out. Justin, I bet McFarlane is shitting bricks now that the star of his spawn reboot is sick in the hospital. Yeah, that, that's not good at all. Yeah, let's pray for Jamie Foxx. Hopefully he's better. I don't want to spe even speculate as to what it is, but, you know. Certain things going around, people dying suddenly, right? That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Hyper, I'm embarrassed. I used to support these guys now that I see them for who they are. Me too, man. It's it's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And I still have a bunch of outstanding books. I don't even care. Like, when they arrive, I'm not going to read them. It's probably better to sell them. <laughs> just sell them on eBay or something, right? I think, is there something in this desert I have to find? Oh. The caravan? Okay. Look at this guy. Welcome! Bottled fairy? Alright. <laughs> I think we need that for a quest, don't we? Alright, I can run to the bathroom again, guys. I'm drinking a lot of water today, so excuse me for one moment. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's see, let's get caught up on the rest of these comments. Oh, Justin, you ever see the vids of EVS obsessing over Fabio? Yeah, <laughs> yes, he's playing like the Fabio music. Didn't he used to have like a cardboard cutout of Fabio too? I think he did. In like the old videos from like 2018 or 2019. Oh my god. What, what, a, what a strange character, man. Alright, so... Where the hell do we go next? I think we're done in the southern area. So it's just about the north. And we got... What did we get from the other guy? We got some kind of item. The warp cube. So we got that. And the fairy. Wasn't someone talking about the fairy in one of those uh, towns? Let's go back to one of the towns and see what they say. Yeah, Fabio. <laughs> Fabio? Wasn't he always on like the cover of the of the women's romance novels? I think it's this town, right? How do I get there? 
Can I land there? Ah! You can't land on the fucking, uh, forest. Oh, we'll walk. Nuke, I think Ethan is unhappy with the performance of his current campaign because he keeps going on channels he never did before to promote his books, and he had Razor Fist on his channel the other day. I know! It's... And, but people are, I think, they're slowly wising up and understanding, you know, it takes three years to get one fucking comic. And yeah, I think people were riling him up uh, yesterday or over the weekend about Common America, because they're like, look, Volume 7's here. I mean, you can like it or not like it, but at least the guys are putting in the work and they have a, a solid group who buys their shit. <laughs> and they've made seven books in, I don't know, two or three years or four years, something like that. So... At least they're doing the work. What have you done? Two books? I don't know. See, it's not even really worth getting angry about anymore because I'm done. I don't even watch EVS's videos anymore. I'm just... I don't even associate with him anymore. That's the, um... The church. What about these people? Oh, what does the dragon say? Amazing! Humans have been honored by the Dragon King. Yeah, we were. I'm pretty sure someone wants the... What's he saying? The Rosetta Stone? Hmm. We gotta give someone the fairy. And then they'll, they'll give us, like, the next item or whatever. Justin, yeah, they don't seem to get that we're in a recession, and sooner or later, the simps will stop giving them money. Yeah, that too. That too. People are wise of their money at a certain point. They, they learn, like, you know, we can't... Oh, he's talking about the, the cube we just got. What about this check? No. Nope. Oh, how about the old man over here? 200 years ago, the shrine of Onrak flourished. It brimmed with the power of water. I ask but one thing of you. Please restore that power to its former grace. We're doing it. Yeah, and it's like, do I eat or do I buy EVS's shitty book? <laughs> Wasn't Kanye living at Jamie Foxx's house? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, maybe it's Gaia we have to go to. Because these guys don't say anything. Nuke, do any of you care about Metal Gear Solid remakes or Death Stranding? I only care about JRPGs, Nuke. Piper, once I discovered Marvel Epic Collections for $35, that was the end of buying $35 floppies for me. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Plus, those Marvel stories, the Epic Collections are the classics. They're good. You're taking a gamble with, with the indie books. All right, over here, maybe? Yeah. Justin, the remakes, no. Death Stranding, kind of, but I'd rather Kojima make a new IP. I liked Death Stranding, but I have no interest in playing a sequel. Nuke, did you hear about all the crazy stuff Target is doing? No. <laughs> Get ready, though, Nuke, because a uh, couple weeks, we're, we're moving into June. And you know what happens in June? And Nuke also says, Justin, if the sequel is different from the first one, I would give it a chance. But if it's more of the same, then no. Justin, well, I don't even have a PS5, so I'm... It's like I'm going to buy it on launch anyway. I'll check out some Let's Plays. I'm guessing you like the first one. He had his own cutout of Fabio. Yeah, I thought I, thought I remembered that. He had like a cardboard cutout of Fabio. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. And he used to play the Fabio music. There's like a, a soundtrack with Fabio when you read the romance novel. You have to have the, the Fabio soundtrack in the background. I remember all that. That's from like the early days of CG. Nuke, Kevin, are you still backing the Common America campaigns? Yes, Nuke, I am. I, I got volume 7 
like last week or whatever. Uh, I'm just I'm not really doing reviews anymore. I don't really review comics, and uh, we're we're sort of transitioning the channel into more video game content. If you couldn't already tell. Oh, what's happening? We got a fucking cutscene. Look at this. Oh, is that the fairy we got? Yeah, I guess we had to come back to this town. So what did that do? <laughs> the fairy left the bottle? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What now? Oh shit. What do we do? Wait, what's he say about the desert? There's a tower. No one can enter. The Mirage Tower. Yeah, we couldn't go in there. Did the fairy leave my bot? My, um... Yeah, left. Fuck. What do we do now? What do we do now? Nuke, I thought it was different. I do not know if I liked it or not. I appreciate it with something was that was no. Justin, the story was good in my opinion. Hyper, if you can't get 60 pages a year done as an indie creator, then don't waste my time. Justin Kirby used to do that in a month. And I hear he's homeless now. Who, Kanye West? Is that who you're talking about? Because I know you mentioned him earlier. They're like 50 bucks now, the Epic Collections. Nuke, Kevin, did you ever play the Fantasy Star games? They're a Sega's version of Final Fantasy. You can get them on Steam. Yes, I've, I've dabbled in them before. Maybe we can do a Let's Play of them at some point. Ah, uh, what the fuck? What do we do? She sits under the, the spring, so maybe, maybe over here? Oh, this guy. Yeah, he caught the fairy. Alright, so over here, I think. Yeah, what we're doing now with the channel is we're going to alternate between Final Fantasy game, a Kingdom Hearts game, and then another game. And we'll keep going in a rotation. Ah, shit! Where's the, the, the pond she's talking about? It's like over... Oh, it's over there. Okay, we gotta go over there. I think. See, <laughs> these old games, they don't really tell you where to go. You just gotta kind of figure it out. Or so they say. And maybe we'll do the OG Dragon Quest games at some point. Oh, there's the fairy. Okay, cool. What do you say? You're the ones who rescued me from the bottle. I'm sorry about running away, but I was so scared. I'll give you some oxy ale from the bottom of the spring to make up for it, okay? Alright, the oxy ale. And I think someone else at the other village was asking about that. There's like a fetch quest going on here. flow out of that water for as long as you have it. Thanks for saving me. If you run out of air. Alright. How's my fairy voice? <laughs> Justin, you can also get them on the Sonic Ultimate Collection for PS3 and 4. <laughs> Nuke, I ignore the entire month of June. Yeah, I think you were trying to tell me something about Square Enix. Was it another stream ago? or, or I don't know, you said something. But Square Enix has a fucking mascot now for that month. It's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, Square, why? What happened? I don't know, I still like Square. I still like Square, but they got some bullshit going on these days. That's every company now, I think. Justin, but the PS4 version doesn't have the first Fantasy Star. And Fabio used to go on Fox News to crap on the Democrats running California. I can picture it now. Fabio on Tucker Carlson. Yeah, Fabio seems pretty based. Yeah, what do I do with the Oxyel? Who wants that now? Oh, you know, do we give it to this bitch uh, with the submarine? 
I think that's what it is. Because we need to go to the, the sunken shrine. Yeah, see? You, you have the Oxiel! You are the ones we've been waiting for! Please, save the mermaids! Oh man, and we can use this? Get the bar- yeah, the barrel submarine! <laughs> oh man, look at this cutscene! The sunken shrine! Oh, damn! Alright, how many chests? Oh, 32 chests! Shit, this is gonna be a big dungeon. Okay. Well, we got about 20 minutes, so I suppose we'll get to, like, the end and we'll fight the Kraken on uh, the next stream, maybe. Yeah, new enemy. Sahagan Chief and Prince. Thundaga should do the trick. Hyper, yeah, the epic collections have gone up in price and the paper quality is definitely getting worse, too. LOL. Yep, everything's going up in price. Justin, yeah, Kanye West, I don't know if that's true, though. <laughs> Kanye, Kanye having his mental breakdown. Oh, Kanye. What a character. I saw he, he was pictured with his supposed wife. He has a new wife now. He's done with Kim Kardashian. I mean, I know the two of them separated, but he's married again already? Hyper, I have all the X-Men and Conan the Barbarian epic collections and a lot of the Star Wars and Spidey ones. Yeah, those those Star Wars ones, I think, aren't they the Dark Horse comics that they remastered or whatever or re-released, however you would word it? They're good. I really like the Clone Wars ones from Dark Horse. I have one of them, one of the epic collections. Justin, I think they're still worth it, but I don't like that they skip issues sometimes. Yeah, a lot of the epic collections just cover, like, a big storyline or something, and they'll skip, you know, one-off issues or whatever. You can't get the whole series in order for some reason. Look at all that gill. Nice. Nuke, the paper quality of Marvel's current comics is terrible. Yeah, it's, it's close to newspaper print, isn't it? Hyper, I started Dragon Quest 3 SNES version of my little MU ham, handheld. The game is just fun as hell. Hell yeah, man. I have the, the three Dragon Quest games, 1, 2, and 3, on the Switch that I bought for really cheap a while ago, like $5 each. So maybe one day we'll, we'll let's play them. How about it? All right, that's enough battles for now. So let's uh, go into these rooms to get chests. Get the chests. Oh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Let me just check the bestiary. Because that's the uh, plan to fill this up. Yeah, we got the green dragon. I'm missing something there. I'll have to look up who that is. Ah, dead ends. There's a chest. Some gill. Yep, we got all the chests there. So let's go up the ladder. Nuke Square Enix Japan site is the only one that matters. Very true, very true. Now, Nuke, when you play games... Do you, do you uh, play English dub, or do you just do the Japanese audio? Or do you mix and match, or does it depend on which game? Because I, I still love the English dub. I don't care if they're all woke. They do a good job. Diamond armor. Nice. Hyper love how none of these mega corps changed their Middle Eastern websites and social media pages to Pride Month versions. Nope. 
Oh my god, did you guys see too what, what Ford did? They have a new pickup truck <laughs> to celebrate Ju the month of June. Light Axe. That's weak. I can't imagine many uh, people like that are going to go out of their way to get a pickup truck. But, okay. Wow, getting this new equipment, it's all weaker than what I have. Gill. Oh, let's see. Uh, there's a chest there, I think. How do I get in there? Ah. Over here. Nuke, speaking of mermaids, did you <laughs> did you all pre-order your ticket for the little mermaid? LOL. Hell no. I, I can't like Who is the demographic for that movie? Like as a parent, wouldn't you want to just let your kid watch the cartoon? I don't quite get it. You know, but okay, I guess, uh, I guess they'll go see that. Who knows? Wow, look at all these chests. Oh, is that a mermaid? Oh, my prayers have been answered. If the light of the sea is lost, we will turn into sea foam and vanish forever. Oh, we don't want that. One of our friends went to see the world above and hasn't returned. I wonder how she's doing. I do hope she's all right. I hope so too. You can breathe underwater? How, how? Cause I just can. Save the, the sea, restore the light to the water crystal. Are those the crystals the legends speak of? Just who are you? Or the warriors of light? Who are you? If the light of the sea is not restored, we will vanish as foam on the waves. I won't let that happen to you. I will save you. While the fiend of water lives, the light of the sea grows ever darker. This is the uppermost level of the shrine. The kraken, the fiend of water, nests on the lowest level. The kraken. The mirage tower stands in the desert to the east of the continent, right? Well, I saw someone go into the tower I heard the most lovely chiming sound. Ah, let me out! How do we get to the other side? Diamond shield, nice. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's read the rest of these comments again. Uh, Justin, wow, YouTube wasn't letting me comment, had to refresh. Oh, no. Yeah, I saw you posted testing before there, too. What the hell, YouTube? Alright, what did I go into yet? There's, um, hmm. Alright. Anyway, Kevin, you think any of the liberal characters will be in Trails of Reverie? That Agate guy looks cool. Dude, Agate is such a badass. He's even better in Trails in the Sky second chapter. Like, in, in first chapter, he's kind of like, oh, yeah. But he's, he's fucking cool. He has a great backstory. I love him. And to answer that, I think so. Because aren't all the characters crossing over in Reverie? I mean, in Zero, um, 
Estelle and Joshua are in it. And a few others, right? So I, I don't know. I, I think I would assume they're all going to be in Reverie because that's the big crossover for all the characters at the very end. So I'd assume so. But the main characters of Sky are Estelle and Joshua. And Agate is more of a, a side character. So. I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to ask Nuke, although he's going to evade your comments and, and say, oh, you have to play to find out. <laughs> but I appreciate that. I appreciate the no spoilers. But yeah, the, the Heavy Blade, he, such a badass. Great cast of characters. How do I get over there? Hmm. I don't know. Oh well. We'll get to that later, I guess. Hype for the epic, epic collections for Star Wars cover the 80s Star Wars run in Dark Horse. Hell yeah. Justin, I have Dragon Quest 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 11, and most of the spinoff games. Nuke the original games. Depends on the game. Uh, McBride, since when did Burger King start selling Red Whoppers? My friend just bought me one. <laughs> what is a Red Whopper? I know what a Whopper is, but what's red about it? I gotta get all these treasures! Okay, here's a new area. There they are. Diamond helm, diamond gloves. What's that? The, oh, the Rosetta Stone! Oh, now we can talk to the Lufenians and understand what they're saying. Diamond helm. And what else did I just pick up? Diamond gloves, yeah. So he's got all diamond gear now. Oh, that's that's weaker than the protect ring. Oh well, we'll keep the protect ring on then. Justin, besides from eight and eleven, there are no ports and remakes. You have a nice friend, Mc McBride. Mine usually steal crap from my fridge of asking. <laughs> Hyper red whopper sounds like a brud brud witch. <laughs> Oh, it's a red bun? <laughs> Nuke, Burger King is promoting the new Spider-Man movie with the red buns. McBride, there's a reason I'm at 239 pounds as of today. Justin, oh, the... The multiverse one? Yeah, they made Miguel the bad guy. Fuck that. Oh, the, there's a new animated Spider-Man movie? Oh, shit. That, that takes you around. Okay, I understand that now. Now right, we're good. Alright, so that's good here. Let's go back to the stairs. If I can find them. Ah, they're over there. Fuck. What did we do back in the day when there was no map in these games? I mean, I feel like I'm being spoiled. Fuck. Oh, okay. That way. Aha! Hyper, man, adding a map in this game almost makes it too easy, in my opinion. LOL. <laughs> it is, man, but you gotta understand, like, I'm talking and reading comments at the same time, so it is kind of difficult to focus on one thing. I mean, if, if I, um, wasn't doing commentary or anything, I could, I could handle it no problem. But not that I'm on a time limit, but I do like to keep myself to two hours of these streams. So. I'll take the map. It's a very helpful addition. McBride, Spider-Man, I'm going to see that movie opening night, Friday and Saturday. I got 200 saved up. $200 for a movie? How much are movie tickets nowadays? 
They better not destroy Spider-Man 2099. Miguel is my favorite Spider-Man. Also, Spider-Man 2099 comic came out in 1992, my birth year. So we're both 31 this year. Nice. Okay, over there. I never even saw the, the first Spider-Verse one. I'm assuming you guys did. <laughs> if you're talking at the sequel. Justin, I didn't see Josh or Estelle in any of the trails for Reverie. Oh, what the hell, man? Nuke, exactly. I will not spoil anything. <laughs> Justin, LOL, is he dead? Never mind, don't answer that. Oh, God, no, don't say that. Are you kidding me? I thought Estelle and Joshua, like, appear in the Cold Steel games. Because they appeared in the in the Crossbell games. Right? I don't know, don't answer it. <laughs> We're gonna... Me and Justin are slowly playing these games, so... Leave it there. But uh, yeah, they're great. They're great games. At least uh, the Sky games are so far. Uh, <laughs> Nuke. Yeah, the Spider-Verse, has, it has the trans flag in the commercial. That's right, isn't it? Into the Spider-Verse 2. McBride, June 2nd is the release date for the new Spider-Man movie. And June 16th is the release of the Black Clover movie. Yes, that, that was supposed to release in March, but it got delayed. Nuke, June 22nd is the release date of Final Fantasy 16. Couple weeks, man. Couple weeks, it's coming. Justin, there's supposed to be a Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus coming out this summer. They were both in Zero and Azure, but they were barely in Azure, and I was talking about Agi. Well, Agi is um a big character in the Sky game, so... I don't know. I'm just assuming all these characters eventually cross over because that's what I've been told through the years that You know, you got to play all these games because as you go through them that all the stories intersect and That whole thing a ribbon nice And Kevin based father Kevin Graham <laughs> What a legend He's a great character too all right, Nuke, have a good day, man. Have to go later. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you can join uh, Thursday stream. And de <laughs> definitely check out tomorrow's video. <laughs> that should be something. Come on. More monsters? Water ele elementals. McRide almost forgot Crash Team Rumble on June 20th. Oh, that's cool. Some more gill, some more gill. Yeah, I heard that too. I heard the Crash voice actor die the other day. Yeah, what a shame. Now let's try Thundaga. Yeah, someone left a comment saying that the other day. In one of the streams. Giant's gloves. More monsters? Yeah, so we'll make it to the, the Kraken's Lair, and then uh, we'll wrap things up, because we're 
We're at two hours. Look at that. What level am I now? Level 44. Okay, one more chest. So we gotta be close to the end here. Yep. That's the last chest. Oh, it's monsters! So do you have any videos uh, planned for later, Justin? Man, the effects for the level 3 spells are so badass. Cool. The Light Axe. That doesn't do any good. Brandon O'Brien, rest in peace. over there. Okay, I see. I see. I think. Yep, right over here. Yep, that's the Kraken. Alright, so we'll wrap it up here. So we're, oh, I can't save. I guess I'll do quick save. Does that work? Can I load quick save? Yeah, I can load it. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> perfect perfect stopping point. Uh, Justin, maybe a review for House of the Dead, but I'm nowhere close to finishing Gridman. And I don't know what I'm going to review for Tokusatsu Thursdays this week. Either Kamen Rider Zero Movie or Ultraman Orb Movie. Well, yeah, I guess you're going to have to review a movie, because if you can't finish your series in time, which you said that was an episodic series, so it's more difficult to binge watch. But that's cool. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoy Xenogears and whatever movie you're going to watch, and thank you guys so much for hanging out this afternoon. Um, like I was saying earlier, I have, a, I have my goofy video about the PlayStation Showcase tomorrow, which, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll probably ruffle some feathers but you know it's my opinion so hopefully you give it a watch also thank you to to everyone who watched the trails in the sky video that was a success and uh looking forward to playing more trails in the sky second chapter later this afternoon myself so thanks justin thanks hyper kaiju thanks mcbride thank you nuke and I think that's all we had today. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Always a pleasure, and we'll talk to you later. Peace out.